Hi Cancer, welcome to your 2020 Twin Flame Soulmate Love Forecast reading. Uh, I'm sort of going to do something totally different, but still just for your individual sun sign. So let's get right into it. I am pulling for you uh, two cards from Wisdom of the Oracle. One sort of represents where you've been and one will represent where you're going. So let's look at that, where you've been and where you're going. <laughs> I love it. And look at the coloring, very similar. So there's a little bit of sort of a lateral move here but we we have you in the former energy of the observer so maybe this is you standing back and and observing like sort of sizing up what what you want um interestingly enough it's a uh, full card 49 four and nine is 13 one and three is four so i feel like since we're heading into a four-year cancer i almost get the opinion you've had your eye on the future. Like you've been sort of sizing things up and setting your sights on 2020. Interesting, really interesting. And then what happens when you get there? Time for a nap. <laughs> oh, two and four is six. It's about balance. This is, by the way, card number 24. It's about balance. I feel like in 2020, you find your terra firma, you find hard, solid ground. Um, and it's also really fascinating that the same crescent moon appears in both of these cards. Out of this whole deck, it's really interesting to me that you got these two cards that it almost feels cancer. It feels to me like you are seamlessly moving from one year in like an ending a decade you've sized things up and now you move into this new decade almost seamlessly effortlessly doesn't it almost look like the colors just get same coloring but just gets a little deeper more more stable more balanced wow i, I just I love that energy for you, Cancer. I know stability, security, all those things are so important to you. Um, so I feel it's going to be a good year. If you haven't subscribed already, I would really love you to click subscribe right now. And that little bell will certainly um, be sure to, to get notified whenever I drop a new video. Here's what I'm going to do. This is, a this is not just a January reading. This is a 2020 forecast. So I'm looking at... This is about releasing, and I made some notes because I like just literally dreamed this up in my head during my sleep. Releasing old patterns that have weakened you in 2019 so you can build on stronger foundations going forward into 2020. I'm looking at divine masculine and divine feminine. It doesn't matter which one you are. You can be a female beautiful lovely cancerian who is operating as divine masculine in within the connection so please just own whatever energy if your energy is more yang if you're more pushing out there if you're more active action oriented um then you are likely divine masculine regardless of your gender all that means is at this moment that energy is a little more evolved and developed within you it doesn't mean you don't have any feminine energy in you okay if you are more receptive and allowing and more patient and pulling back a little bit then your divine feminine energy even if you're a dude it doesn't matter okay so i'm just going to read divine feminine divine masculine and then on the on the back end on the extended i'm going through all the zodiac signs for you cancer to see what's up with each sign and how they may or may not um, show up in a connection with you all right and then i'm also doing a lot of oracle i'm doing romance angels during virtues romance angels i'm doing numerology and i'm doing wisdom keepers which it looks at sort of your shadow your gift and your enlightenment and what you're here to teach your divine counterpart and what they're here to teach you so the back the back half will be really wonderful and involved okay but let's go ahead and look at divine masculine how they're showing up right now divine feminine divine masculine 2019 divine feminine 2019 divine masculine 
how they've sort of resolved things for 2019, Divine Feminine, how Divine Feminine has resolved things for 2019, Divine Masculine 2020, Divine Feminine 2020. Wow. Okay. So here we go. I'll tell you now that um, Divine Masculine is stepping forward as Ace of Pentacles. This is the energy of just divinely gifted abundance. This is something that's so stable. It comes in and it's like, wow, I made it. I made it. I did it. I got the thing. I, I did the thing. I have the thing. <laughs> Whatever the thing is, it's like it just seems to arrive as if gifted on a silver platter. So I feel that's very, very positive. This is divinely gifted, stability, abundance. Some It's an offer. I feel they're showing up. Divine Masculine is showing up with an offer because they feel they've been gifted so much. This is the engagement ring card, by the way, just saying. Here for Divine Feminine, we have Five of Pentacles. Showing up feeling bit, a, bit, a bit abandoned, a little shut out here. Cancer, I don't know which one you are. I'm just saying um, you can judge by what you're reading here. And it seems like both energies are, are focused on stability. This is both Pentacles energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Um, but I feel like whoever is showing up here as Divine Feminine is feeling a little bit um, unstable. May have some financial problems right now, but it doesn't have to be that. It could just be like feeling shut out, feeling um, there's scarcity and lack mindset here. Uh, not being able to access enough warmth within a connection to feel stable and secure and, and taken care of, um, quite frankly. Then and we have in the past for 2019 for Divine Masculine, I think was an awakening to the twin flame energy. Right now, though, they're kind of closing out the year in a mode of healing for of swords and they're moving into 2020, which I see the end of a painful cycle for them. I know that looks horrible, but the truth is, is if they, you know, rec we're going to clarify it, but if they recognize the power of the twin flame and they're in healing, something may have gone a little sideways for divine masculine. And now divine masculine needs to close out the painful chapter in 2020, a painful cycle for divine feminine here. 2019 was about pulling back self-protection, um, really uh, be, being, um, I don't want to use the word miserly, but sort of, but I kind of mean like pulling back on the time they give, the resources, the energy they expend, just sort of pulling back to protect what's theirs. And I like to say that the biggest asset, because this we often see pentacles as money, as assets, as possessions. But I feel like when the when the arms are around that pentacle right in front of them, I think the biggest asset they've pulled back to protect is their heart. And now in page, in, in, they're closing out 2019 with Page of Swords. This is some sort of either. It makes me feel like it. it since this message here was for you, Cancer, and now I'm reading about the Divine Feminine, I kind of feel like you might be Divine Feminine. For those of you who are, these two cards, very similar. Observer, this is an observer. Page of Swords kind of steps back and watches from afar, and that's kind of the energy of the observer here. So I kind of feel like you're closing out 2019. Um maybe just keeping tabs on divine masculine just really not in it not in a creepy way i'm not seeing anything creepy just to kind of gauge where they are what they're doing you know how they are um showing up in the world i feel that that's the energy that i'm seeing here and then you move into 2020 and here we go divine feminine two of cups soulmate so i feel that that's uh, a good representation of where we are maybe divine masculine has to close something else out in 2020 so that this can manifest for divine feminine and i say that because there's healing involved right now so when when i see the four of swords and then i see the ten of swords i'm like oh yeah they're healing from so much crap that went down and then this makes sense it's over done painful 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 
but that doesn't mean it has anything to do with this divine feminine it could be someone else so let's see whoop don't you dare ace of pentacles here for divine masculine four of cups and devil energy seven of cups so i feel um wow <laughs> divine masculine i feel i feel if if divine masculine is coming in with ace of pentacles that's like a major offer that that's energy of a major offer and i i feel like they've gotten bored and and they're kind of feeling frisky and they have all these options available to them this could be you cancer if you're in the energy of divine masculine just own that otherwise this could be the energy of divine masculine that's coming in for you in 2020. so there's been either unrequited love with someone they feel very tied to and that could be what this is about so i kind of feel like they want to make a big offer that's what i kind of feel it is here's the big offer they want to make to someone who has sort of friend zoned them that they feel very tied to and they're kind of all up in their head they're all up in their emotions about it this can be emotional overwhelm it can be a lot of options and choices but what i feel like is they have to process a lot of options they have to process a lot of choices on an emotional level for how to break through to somebody that they feel has they're they're karmically tied to and ha has friend zoned them let's look at this four of yes four of wands but here's the problem they might have moved too slow 2019 they recognized the twin flame energy they moved too slow knight of pentacles um that may just be it and uh, yep because they couldn't decide they didn't like the, again stuck in the head and like blocked energy not being able to make a decision for how to probably for how to approach this person maybe how to break through the friend zone <laughs> energy they're healing from it right now and and stepping forward with that huge offer why four of swords for divine masculine please four of swords four of swords for divine masculine hmm yeah they wanted things to be fair and balanced they wanted some equal give and take between the two of you that is what would make them feel more stable but i don't think they got it nine nine of um wands it's sort of like they reached the end of their ropes that's the energy right now is they kind of didn't get anything resolved they didn't get the stability the back and forth the reciprocity the, the give and take they're healing from it now they're kind of at the end of their ropes but they haven't given up all hope is not lost they haven't given up and then we do see a shift here to ten of swords for divine masculine ten of swords 2020 for divine masculine <laughs> okay so like i said i feel they're in healing mode right now because whatever happened they felt friend zone to someone they feel karmically tied to they didn't move fast enough in 2019 they were kind of undecided as to how to approach this person and they were moving way too slow how to approach divine feminine i should say and they didn't so whichever energy you are just put the other person in the other place does that make sense if i'm talking about you right now then all this energy where i say they feel friend zoned by someone they feel tied to is this person over here okay <laughs> i just want to be sure because i'm not really speaking directly to you i'm speaking to cancerians general collective you are the ones who have to know what energy you're in only you know for sure so we come forward now because they got all caught up in indecision they have to heal from there was a lack of reciprocity here things were not balanced they wanted balance kind of came to the end of their rope but didn't quite give up now in 2020 a lot of anxiety with regard the painful painful ending to this whole mess a little bit obsessed about it 
this is kind of high anxiety not being able to sleep i feel that because i also see devil energy up here and so what they're going to do what divine masculine does is makes a small offer doesn't come in gangbusters ace of pentacles although divine masculine that's how divine masculine feels right now will not do that in 2020 will offer something small and tangible this is going to be a fresh start of stability something that the other person the divine feminine can manage that doesn't feel so overwhelming and then there will be victory see how this works so then it's like divine masculine feels a sense of victory in 2020 and you can either they they can either move toward reconciliation or just feel victorious and move forward when i get to the um extended reading if you are the divine masculine here dear cancer i'm going to run through all 12 zodiac signs to tell you a little bit about the energy of divine feminine from the perspective of those zodiac sun signs that's what's going to happen along with a slew of oracle cards Woo! okay moving on now to divine feminine if you happen to be the divine feminine then this portion of the program is for you cancer I'm not sure I explained it very well up front. I'm not sure it was completely clear how I was going to approach this. Anyway, Divine Feminine, Five of Pentacles, showing up now, kind of feeling on the outside, a little abandoned, unstable. Wow. What? yes oh my gosh okay divine feminine feels for divine feminine this is um the oh my god i i made a big mistake card right and now i'm out in the cold and now i can't access the warmth of the connection and now i'm suffering I resisted the Ace of Cups, right? Here it was. Divine Masculine knew what they were offering. Divine Feminine didn't take it up and now realizes Divine Feminine resisted this Ace of Cups and really wishes Divine Feminine hadn't made that choice. There's the Lover's card. Oh, my heart my heart i get it i get it i get it Whew. and 2019 divine feminine was all about protecting divine feminine's energy resources time heart everything everything that that divine feminine perceives in the 3d world as being valuable pulled back to protect it withholding that was withholding energy that they now regret yes Four of Pentacles for 2019 for Divine Feminine. Wow, I love this spread. Pulling back, oh my God. Huh. Okay. <laughs> so, Divine Feminine spent most of 2019 in self-preservation mode, pulling back, not really showing their full hand, really wanting the, wanting the happiness, wanting the joy, wanting to be vulnerable, trying to manifest this sun energy, trying to manifest their happiness, pulling back, thinking, well, I don't know if that's my right Divine Masculine, or I don't know how much I should show or reveal to my Divine Masculine, because this is so important to me. I want this sun, I want this happiness, this joy, this vulnerability, this divine protection. I'm manifesting that. And all I got was a little cup of love. <laughs> Oh, I, I, I think that I think the divine feminine had very big hopes and thought that by pulling back in 2019 would bring would manifest this kind of joy and happiness. And what divine feminine ended up with was just it fell short of divine feminine's expectations. No, I notice I'm not saying her or him because you can be a male and be in divine feminine energy. So I don't want to taint it with my genderation, genderizing of the of this reading. So divine feminine just kind of got a little cup of love 
or maybe a little apology for, gee, I'm not sure I'm on the same page as you. Or, or because you, Divine Feminine held back so much, all that came toward her from, toward Divine Feminine from Divine Masculine was a little couple of, because this is appropriate. Divine Masculine doesn't know what Divine Masculine is dealing with. Divine Masculine is going to come forward with this. And not that ace. But it was the ace in disguise all along. And Divine Feminine gets it now. Gets that Divine Feminine resisted it. And feels horrible. Is feeling that. Now Divine Feminine is in Page of Swords. I kind of feel... I kind of feel the feminine is is watching, observing, keeping tabs. I don't feel it's creepy. I'm not getting that. Uh, well, because Divine Feminine knows does not know the next best step. Kind of miscalculated in 2019 and doesn't want to screw things up in 2020, so is hanging back observing watching from afar waiting for maybe just some insight or a message to as a, this is these are messengers but they're also fresh starts and because swords is knowledge information truth wisdom insight all of that i kind of feel like a uh, divine feminine is pulled back and is waiting for like something small that's like a flash that lets them know that they can take their next step they're being very very hesitant this is stuck energy here next card i'm not even going to shuffle and it's about commitment. So there is, it makes sense to me that Divine Feminine would be watching from afar and not really knowing their next best step because this is so important to them. Because what they want in 2020 is this. That's what's coming on the path for Divine Feminine. But Divine Feminine knows Divine Feminine has to play their cards right because the stakes are very high. So that's why we have Page of Swords, Eight of Swords. I'm watching, I'm waiting, I'm stuck, I'm not moving forward, I don't know my next best step, there's a lot riding on this, and then in 2020, it will all pay off. Two of Cups for Divine Feminine in 2020. And then we're off to the races. Knight of Wands. Wow, just amazing. Bottom of the deck, Queen of Cups. Total emotional availability. Um, Cancer, this is your energy here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Queen of Cups. Emotional availability, full from the heart chakra. Um, um, uh, emotionally generous, able to process feelings and talk about feelings. Loving, caring, nurturing, compassionate almost to a fall able to hold your emotions and theirs at the same time their cup runneth over wow cancer if you're the one in divine feminine energy i feel the lessons you've learned i feel you're releasing the old patterns that weakened you in 2019, resisting that cup of love, only perceiving it as a as something really tiny when it was really big. And I feel your course correcting right now. Um, you're really being cautious. You are observing things. You're you're hanging back, waiting for a sign, or sort of a you know just sort of sizing up when the time might be right to break free of this self-imposed prison and move forward. I just feel that you've got the weight of the world on your shoulders here if you're um, the divine feminine cancer over here if cancer if you're the divine masculine i love that you're saying yeah like i want to give this person who friend zoned me i want to give them the world i want to give them the world because this is my this this is my person now i know that the devil energy gets a bad rap that's capricorn energy it, it it doesn't have to be that. This can just be feeling the tie. And it is emotionally overwhelming. 
And so perhaps if you, Cancer, if you are divine masculine in this scenario that I've described, maybe you are a little obsessive. So that would be your task to work on. I know you're trying to heal right now. That's a really good sign. And you do want that balance, fairness, reciprocity, equal, give and take, something stable and balanced you can count on. And that's what we got here. Time for a nap. That's what this card is. Time for a nap. So see how this, this could be, these are both for you, Cancer, and you could be either Divine Masculine or Divine Feminine. Both those cards apply. I literally feel um, this one goes here and this one goes here. Present energy, Page of Swords, present energy, um, Four of Swords right here. That's how that goes. Okay, my dear Cancerians, if you feel very comfortable with what I've just described, 2019 to present day to 2020, I'm going to go through all the Zodiac for you. I'm also going to be reading you Romance Angels. I'm going to be reading you some um, uh, numerology and the uh, Wisdom Keepers, where you will get to see what lessons you're here to learn with your divine counterpart. I'm wishing you all the best I hope you have a flashy, sparkly, glittery New Year's Eve, and I'll see you on the other side. The link's below to the extended, or I'll see you in the new year. Happy New Year. Bye, Cancer.